Well, Steve has had a uh, dash cam on his Christmas list for years and years and years, and I finally sat down, did a bunch of research, and the camera I chose for him was the Owl Cam, and I'm here with John Michael Hauer from Owl to talk about the Owl Cam. Thanks for having me, and it's exciting to know that you're already a product owner. So what makes the Owl Cam a, a unique dash cam? So what makes it unique is kind of our, our edge network. What it is, it's more than just a piece of hardware. It's a, it's a smart dual-facing camera that is able to detect events in and around your car, and then it sends that data to our AI-based cloud system. And that cloud system is constantly analyzing that data and determining when do I need to tell them about the, the, the bump their car just got in the parking lot, or did I just detect broken glass? Do I need to send HD video immediately to their phone? It, it's processing all this stuff in real time and using the 4G network to communicate with the owner and letting them know what's happening in their car and around their car in real time. So this has a 4G uh, network already built in, a cellular service? It does, yeah. Every camera comes with one year of our subscription service, and that's the 4G LTE video service. And what that does, it allows it to talk to you, let you know what's going on, and it also allows you to check in on your car. So you can, you can be across the country here at this event and, and know like, oh, my car is safe. I can see what's happening inside, outside, and, and I can even st stream video on my phone in real time. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. This is sort of like an extension of the uh, quantified self, right? We want everything measured. We want to be able to watch everything. But it has been really nice for Steve. He's been able to see what's going on with this car in a parking structure that, you know, maybe you don't trust so much. Yeah, I mean, our objective has been to prevent and protect by making security mobile and smart. Security that can go where you go. So no longer does it just have to be at your front door. Now when you take off on the road, which happens to be a really dangerous place to be, you know that something is looking out for you and protecting you and has your back if you ever get into a situation where you need video proof. Yeah, I kind of wish we had this when we got hit and run. That would have been nice. We did eventually catch the guy, but it was a little trickier to get that. So now talk to me about the video quality on this. So the forward-facing camera that's going to shoot down the roadway shoots at 1440, and the inside camera shoots at 720. The reason is outside we want to be able to zoom in so you can see that street sign, you can see that license plate, and catch that fine detail that you need uh, with all those moving objects outside your car. Right, and Ed, you said it was uh, 120 degrees? 120 FOV. We really like that FOV because it doesn't distort at the edge. Field of view. Yeah. We, a lot of times uh, on, on products that have really wide FOVs, uh, it gets distorted and like, yes, you can see wider, but is that video quality good enough to do anything with? Can you take that to the police officer, to your insurance company and say, look at that license plate or look at this person around my car? It's really important to us to have usable, crisp video uh, that can actually help you in these unfortunate situations. Right. So. Um what, what's the value of an inside camera? I, I was confused at first. I thought it might be back facing that I would see if somebody rear-ended me, but it's really to look at the inside of the car, right? Well, yeah, we happen to leave our cars in a lot of vulnerable places. You go out to dinner, or you go to that movie, you're in the shopping mall, especially around like the holidays. People are looking for that back seat that's full of presents for your family members. And our camera is able to detect when an event happens from the moment the car feels an impact and start sending video right to the cloud so you have video evidence if someone does bust into your car and you know in real time that it's happening. Wow, that's crazy. And it's taking pictures of the people? So yeah, we have a catch net. So if someone breaks into your car and goes right for the camera and rips it out, uh, it actually is sending still images to the cloud right away. So you get 15 to 20 still images of that suspect breaking into your car. It also has a super capacitor. So after they pull that, it's still sending data to the cloud for up to another seven or eight seconds. Oh, that's cool. Now, one of the things I really liked about this, we really hesitated to get a dash cam because we didn't want wires hanging down, going into a cigarette lighter, that kind of thing but the installation of this allowed us to to uh, it goes down at the bottom of your window in the center and then you shove the the wire it comes with a little spudger to shove the wire down into the uh, into the gasket along the edge and then it goes into the uh, onboard diagnostics port yeah well I mean at our company we're all car nuts and we love our cars and we only want to put things in our cars that look beautiful, just like the cars themselves. So the ID and the design and how we hide the cables and make it look sleek and integrated has been really important to us. And just with the pedigree of our, our founders, uh, Andy Hodge, our CEO, he was a lead engineer on the original iPod 
uh, the original iPhone. So oh, wow, you, you could say ID matters uh, within the walls of our company. Yeah, that's it. Definitely is a beautiful camera. It looks really good. It comes. Uh, well, it was really funny when we got it all done. We had all this extra cable down to, next to the OB, uh, OBD port, and Steve's like, "Well, I got to go get some tie wraps." And then we're we're messing around in the box, and it's like, "What is this thing right here?" It turned out, of course, it was a nice tie wrap for it. Yeah, I mean, man, if I could talk through all the hours we spent of doing practice installs, handing them to our family members, watching them do it, seeing where they got hung up, where they could make it more sleek or, or just a smoother process. Like that attention to detail uh, helped us to create a beautiful product that's super easy to install. We've had people at eight years old and 80 years old all able to install them in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, it really, I mean, we take our time because we argue over who gets to do stuff. That's the only hard part. It was his Christmas present, so I let him do most of it. But really, really great camera. Where would people find it? You can find it on our website, owlcam.com, and we also sell them on amazon.com. And they also have uh, bundle packages sometimes. We you get do, yeah. two. If you get two, we just launched multi-camera features, so now you can manage up to three cameras from a single device, and we sell two cameras at a discounted rate. Now, the only thing I want you to do beyond this is I want to be able to watch his camera on my phone, but you can only watch it from one phone. It's coming. We have sent that feature request yes, in as well. Yes. We hear you loud and clear. It's like I installed the app and I'm like, oh man, I don't get to play either. Mm -hmm. Yes, but hey, privacy is really important to us. So one thing we are going to uh, keep for certain is only the driver gets to decide who sees their driving video, no matter what. Oh, okay. That's a good mm -hmm. idea. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll be checking you out yeah. and playing with the new camera. Thank you.